I think there are other reasons which I don't know and I really don't care for. It, it's, 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 it's a stupid idea now and it will be a stupid idea in five or ten years. Mm -hmm. I would say now is the moment where we can, where we could um, write it into the uh, constitution that we shouldn't do that. The European constitution? Um, probably. The European constitution would be a good idea. I, I would be uh, satisfied if it was in the Austrian um, constitution and I also think that, that there's one more concept about the transparency in voting that um, it should be written into the constitution and that is um, unfortunately there's no English term for it but it's a wonderful German word it's Bringschuld. Bringschuld means um, you have something and it's your responsibility to bring it to me. You have Bringschuld. Okay? And I think that it's a, a Bringschuld of the state to deliver the transparency of the voting process to the people. I think the duty to deliver uh, is at the state to, to show the transparency yes. of the yes. voting processes. And, and the reason for this is because they are the ones who are organizing it. And in order to prove that they are not rigging it, they have to see that the transparency of the voting process for the ordinary people is as high as possible. There's a lot you can do, there's a lot you could change to uh, um, better the um, uh, transparency of the voting process. And e-voting is the exact opposite. So if we could put the, the Springschuld into the um, duty to deliver, the duty to deliver transparency, um, that would be a very interesting idea, I think. After all, laws are just um, another form of design. Thank you, Peter. Po I'm sorry, I have to come up. Yeah, sure. But let's just let, let, yeah. let's make it better. Yeah. Let's make it better. Sorry. Let's just, yeah. um, so Peter Pogertofer, uh, kannst du das nur noch mal in drei, vier, fünf Sätzen? Das ganze, also E-Voting als Kurzbotschaft mit dem Duty to Deliver am Schluss. Mhm. Ja? Und, und dass du dann fürs Analoge, dass es analog bleibst, mhm. ist für den gesamten Westen und alle anderen wichtig. Das wäre jetzt noch für UNO-Leute, für Leute in Somalia oder sonst was. Also etwas, das ein bisschen länger hält. Ja? Mhm. Kannst du das nochmal? Ich zeige das, ja. Genau, äh, einfach nochmal, ähm, ich stelle ich stell die Frage nochmal. So, ähm, Uh, Peter Pogerthofer, we are here at DeepSec 2007 in Vienna. You were talking about uh, the problems or these plans of um, re or s sorry, one more. Peter Pogerthofer, we are here at the DeepSec 2007 in Vienna. Uh, you were talking about electronic voting, which is a plan that uh, some governments tried in the 90s or even now uh, to put on the agenda. Uh, what is your general development on e-voting? Okay, I, I can put that uh, pretty simple. I think e-voting is um, something you shouldn't do. E-voting is um, a stupid idea. E-voting means that you turn a very transparent process, or at least a potentially very transparent process. I know that in many countries it's not a transparent process. Um, you turn a potentially very transparent process into a black box process where transparency is impossible and has to be added on as an as a afterthought, um, which doesn't make it any better because you still have to believe that inside the black box everything has gone r uh, right. Um, uh, to put it on a different level, traditional voting systems have one point of failure and, uh, or one attack vector and this is so-called retail fraud. So if you want to uh, uh, rig an election, you have to f um, uh, manipulate each sheet of paper in order to have um, a different result than what the people filled out on the paper. This requires a lot of collaboration from a lot of people. This is called retail fraud in um, uh, voting um, in theory or something. Um, if you want to uh, uh, manipulate an e-voting election, you just have to manipulate the software on the machines. And by doing so, this can be done by one person. And by allowing that, um, you have the whole election in your pocket. You can do whatever you want because nobody can ever check um, uh, what, what, what happened in the uh, voting stations and what came out on the other end of the black box. So this is a wholesale fraud. So suddenly, with e-voting, you open the door to e uh, wholesale fraud. And the, the, the interesting thing is, um, what is the interesting thing? Um, 
Um, the interesting thing is, da war jetzt noch ein Punkt, yeah. da hinten fliegt er. Mach das. Um, Bring genau. Ja, gleich, gleich. Okay, wir fangen einfach nochmal an. Und nein, nein, tsch. And the interesting thing is that um, this person can, of course, not only attack from the outside, but also from the inside. And this is a very interesting scenario because what we have, in fact, with elections is that those in power are the ones who organize the election. So an inside attacker is much more likely than an outside attacker. Um, so what I would say is that we need to define transparency of the voting process as the core property of it and as the number one duty of the people who organize the election to deliver to the people who um, uh, deliver their, 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 their cast, their votes, who go voting. And this is, the, this is what, what in German is beautifully called Bringschuld. So government has a Bringschuld of transparency in the voting process and uh, e-voting essentially kills that. Thank you very much. You're welcome.